we're going to be fast here because there is a complete video on the topic higher up the page. But basically the way the test is intended to be used is for you to observe what's happening with each of the squares as they print and make real time adjustments, whether that be ABLZ offset or manually turning the leveling knobs. Your reference are these diagrams at the bottom of the page, the first showing the theory of what we're looking for and the second diagram being actual images and I recommend opening this in a new tab and zooming in so you can see sufficient detail. So one more real life example, ignore the lower left, that's where I didn't have filament primed before the print started, but if we inspect the other squares, we can see they're a little bit too close. Each line of extrusion is running into the one next to it, and that causes these little lumps in between that we can feel quite clearly with our fingernail. Later in the print, I made an adjustment to lift the nozzle up relative to the bed. Thanks to this, the top of the first layer is quite a lot smoother. However, maybe it was just a little bit too high because you can see some very small gaps in the extrusion. Probably the best way to confirm this is to peel off the square and then bend it. If we can see a clear gap between the extrusion, we know we need to go just a tiny bit closer. The beauty of this test is it's extremely fast, so we can run it again over and over, making adjustments until we get it just right. 